What are the consequences for animal abuse in Kentucky right now? Little to nothing. Little to nothing. You can, um, well, right now we know you can't have relations with it. That is against yeah, the law. Thank God. But you you can starve them still. You can uh, not get them care when they need it. It's It, it takes a lot. But another bill that did get passed uh, a couple of years ago was uh, veterinarians can now report abuse. Yeah. And, and even that was still very recent. Like 2000, I think that was 2019. And again, it was fought. Not by the veterinarians. The veterinarians wanted to do it. You know, And can imagine how heartbreaking to have your patient come in that can't tell you what's going on, but you know, you know the signs of abuse yeah. and you have to give it back to that owner, you know, but now they can report it. So, yeah, I thank God. Cause I mean, like besides the owner, that would probably be the only other person that would have the chance to see and really know what's going on. Yes. Yes. And then back to the other law that got passed. Um, somebody's actually in jail because of that now, uh-huh. you know, they, they actually, and, uh, he is waiting a court date. You know, the, it went to grand jury. The grand jury decided a trial needed to be held. Yay. And we're just waiting for a date to be assigned for court. And you can bet that I will be sitting there in that courthouse to watch because they say the more that show up to show support. And yeah. You don't influence a judge, but they see that everybody's taking this seriously, which we should. Oh, yeah. I, it, it just it blows my mind how 2019. That's that's how recent ago that was. Had that happened it, a year earlier Nobody could have done anything. And the 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 stomping claw wasn't that last the year. The crush law. Yeah, the crush law. The, the, uh, and um, there was well, the law had always been there, but it had a few little loopholes that people were getting through, and uh, they they wrote some other bills that closed that loophole. And when President Trump at the time signed it. It was reported wrong in the media. They kept saying, oh, it's now a felony. It's a felony to abuse an animal. No, it's a Mm. felony to abuse an animal in that tiny, narrow, specific way. So that's when every, I mean, I I just have it cut and pasted in my Facebook that I can pull it up and just click on it and paste it because somebody will say, oh, well, they can't do that anymore because it's now a felony nationwide. No, it's not. And so I just cut and paste that little thing that tells them why it's not. And that's why they still need to support and still need to call and let people know we need more uh, stricter laws regarding animal cruelty yeah so um, uh, they can crush an animal yes but if they were to kick a dog in the face that's perfectly fine cut his leg off you know they do that they do that a lot and it's we see that all the time and dragging behind cars you know it's it's horrible thing and why do you they get mad at the animal and they punish it in a really severe way and to me if you see that as punishment you're probably doing your kids Oh yeah, well, a huge disservice too. Ain't that a thing? Like uh, early, like well, the abuse of animals is early signs for serial killer mindsets. It is, and abusive mindsets. There, uh, I have some friends who have published uh, research articles, real research articles, not just I heard this on Facebook articles. And uh, she gives them to she gives these articles to policemen and to uh, public defenders, county attorneys, showing direct correlation between. A, somebody who abuses animals will go on to humans. It, yeah. it, it is more likely than not that they will um, harm humans. So if you don't even care about animals, at least care about stopping this cycle of abuse that goes on up to hurt people eventually. 